They've been camping here now since December 2009. I was camped out here um, round about that time with other volunteers, um, having heard very sad stories. The one that really hurt me was a single mum who come down to do the Christmas shopping and was clamped £125 and that was the end of her Christmas. And since then we've been fighting clamping on private land, particularly car parks such as this. If the clampers and the owners of the car park really want you to provide a service, they'd put a gate right here on the car park, a pay on exit gate, such as you have down at the hospital and all around the country. I reckon they've made something approaching half a million pound in clamping fees here. What we're trying to do today is to help them by making sure people don't infringe what the rules quite clearly say. Making sure that people pay for the car park, they put the ticket the right way up and just today somebody was clamped because the ticket was upside down but fortunately because we were here they were let off to make sure they don't cross the white lines. If they park at an angle they're going to be clamped and therefore we're helping the clampers do their job more efficiently. If it works we'll be here time and time again until clamping is banned on private land.